So this is 2341. This is our front run tower truck. So we'll use this uh, anytime there's a residential fire or a uh, um, anything with multiple stories that we need to make quick access to on an upper level. Um, we'll also use it on um, swift water rescue if we need to deploy the tower or the ladder out to you know, some inaccessible portion of water uh, to make a rescue out there. Uh, we can also flow water off the master stream on the bucket. Um, that'll flow at about 2,000 gallons per minute. Um, this was built in 2013. Um, it's a Pierce truck with an uh, Impel pump, um, holds 300 gallons of water. One unique thing about this truck is that it has a fully functional fire pump on it. It's a watchress, so we can uh, both fill our tank with the 1,000 foot of five inch hose that we have on the back of the truck, and we can also attack the fire right from here. Uh, we have two uh, 150 foot sections of hose, of inch and three quarter hose that we can attack the fire directly with. We also have 200 feet of uh, two and a half inch hose. So whether, whether we're just assisting an engine or we're doing the primary firefighting with this vehicle, um, we can do it all right here. In addition to fighting fire, um, another thing that's really important on a fire truck is having tools readily accessible. Big tools, small tools, gas powered, pneumatic, we have it all. So we have hand tools, you know, screwdrivers, that kind of thing. We have uh, battery powered skill saw, we have electric saws, we also have pneumatic air chisels and that kind of thing if that's what we need. We also have all kinds of appliances for our hoses as well. We have a gated Y valve, we have all kinds of different connectors and adapters, smooth bore nozzles, as well as fog stream nozzles. Most of the time we're not going to have access to any kind of building that's on fire. Um, a lot of times it's vacant or it's shut down for the night, what have you, someone's gone for the day. Um, so when, we, when that is the case, we need to have tools that can get us in. We'll have the ax, that's kind of the old faithful when all else fails. The halligan is also another great tool. Sometimes you're just gonna go straight for a hammer. Then we also have kind of more specialized uh, New York hooks, hawk hooks, that kind of thing that'll make sure that we can pry or whatever to get into that door. Uh, we're not always going to be able to get direct access to the building with just hand tools. Sometimes we're going to need to cut our way in. Um, this is the quickie saw. It's gas powered. Uh, it'll cut through just about anything. And whether we're gaining access to a steel door or we're doing vertical ventilation on some rooftop um, to let some of the smoke and heat out, um, these are going to be some of our go-tos. Chainsaw, which everyone's pretty familiar with. Um, Whatever the job is, we'll have the tool to take care of it. In addition to putting out the fire, one of the main jobs of the truck is to clear the area of smoke and heat. So we have a couple different fans that we can do that with. We have a gas powered positive pressure ventilation fan. So it just pumps air into the, into the building to push the air out. So a lot, that'll help, hopefully allow us to avoid cutting a hole in the building. And so we can just pressurize that whole area and keep it flowing. Water rescues are another thing that we do a lot here at Mason City Fire. Um, whether it's swift water on the Winnebago River or just in a, in a body of water like a couple of lakes that we have around here. Um, we'll have our Mustang suits ready to go. It's basically just um, a, a suit that you put on that it fills with air, keeps you floating, keeps you dry, keeps you warm. Uh, we also have flippers and throw bags, life jackets, anything we'll need to make that rescue. Protecting life and property is about more than just putting out the fire and running medical calls. Uh, sometimes it's about protecting what's already there. Uh, so we have these uh, salvage and overhaul covers to cover up uh, property while we're finishing up putting out the fire. Uh, we also have different materials to uh, cover any entrances that might have been um, destroyed in the process of putting out the fire. Because we have a fire pump on this truck that allows us to um, attack fires with this as the lone apparatus, um, we also need a supply line. So here we have our 1,000 foot of five inch um, large diameter hose that we can hook onto a hydrant and keep the water flowing to this truck, which will allow us to keep the fire suppression uh, going on the other side of the hose. And of course, we have our ladders, um, all different kinds of sizes, just depends on what we need to do that for that fire. Um, we have 
12 foot, 16 foot, 20, um, single fly ladders, double and triple fly ladders, as well as a series of poles. And we also have our uh, controller for the tower. Uh, this allows us to put out the outriggers to stabilize the, the truck, as well as lift, raise, and rotate the, the ladder itself. These are our main controls for the ladder. Um, it'll allow us to retract, lift, um, and rotate the ladder, as well as adjust the, uh, the master stream on the end of the bucket. With the 100-foot ladder, we can gain access to any building in the city. Um, so whether they're on the top floor, we can also use this as an actual ladder to get to the top of the building, get firefighters up there to do whatever needs to be done. There's four seats in this truck that allow a uh, full truck company if, uh, if that's how we're riding that day. Um, every spot has an air pack, every spot has a headset. We also have all kinds of monitors back here um, and different other tools to uh, finalize the fire suppression. Each ride spot has its own air pack. You just give it a little pull and it's ready to deploy along with the firefighter. Um, this air pack in particular has a uh, thermal imaging camera so we can see hot spots inside the room even if we can't visibly see the hot spots we'll know they're there. These are 4500 PSI bottles uh, that'll give us approximately 20 minutes of airtime in any kind of atmosphere.